So, so you, you know how like you got to the Philippines pretty much. You moved there when in your adult life. Like you literally moved to the Philippines as an adult, which is opposite to what it was me experiencing when I was a young child, young kid. Mm -hmm. But like right. your first dating experience with a pinay, was it weird? Like, like is it me or do you? Would you agree? Like some of these girls who goes to college. Mm -hmm. are still very immature-ish like right so they yes. oh, you know 100 so i'm a, let's keep it real bro let's yeah let's, let's lock let's lock in on this one yeah, yeah um this is one thing a lot of people don't know back in that day let's keep it real because they and they've changed it since then filipinas would start college at 16 yep. they took out two complete years of school that we had and it's like they jumped from elementary up to about I don't know what grade it is, but like their high school is the same four years or whatever it may be. So they don't really have a middle school of sorts. Or maybe it's like mm -hmm. up to a certain elementary age, one plus year, and then that's jumped to high school. And by the time they're in college, they're starting at 16 years old. So my classmates were 16. Mm -hmm. The same grade, the, the same age that many of us are when we're in our sophomore, junior year or so in high school. That's them starting college. And mm -hmm. a lot of people can't fathom that thought. So, yes, the level of immaturity, man, that you had to experience, it's tough, man. And it was a tough hurdle. Um, I, when I started college, I was at the top end of 18, like 18 19. Um, but, yeah, man, you're going to deal with a lot of girls that just aren't of age. And I, and I kind of feel to an extent, and I'm not giving Western women any credit, <laughs> but let's keep it real. Women in the United States do mature. A lot faster than me. I, I can feel I can feel comfortable with saying that, but when you go to the Philippines, it's like I'm not. I mean, they pretty much are on the same maturity level. But yep. if you're thinking in your mind, you know that you're thinking you're going to deal with the young lady that kind of has it all together. They're still living at the house with mommy, which is cool because you know we don't always have it all together. Our you know our college days, but they're at home. They're underneath the parental care. Um, so as a, as a result, it's not so much growing up as it is. I'm still being babied. I'm still being taken care of. Mom is still making my meals. Mom is still cooking for me. You know, sometimes they cook for themselves, but overall they got somebody at the house to take care of their laundry and take care of their stuff. Unless they live in a boarding house, which is where they got to kind of take mm -hmm. care of some of that stuff on their own. So you're going to find that, you know, the level of maturity, especially in the earlier years of college, even now they did add vocational school or two years additional to college so now they're kind of starting college at about 18 i think the option is if i remember correctly um the two additional years of high school could be utilized towards a vocation so that you can mm -hmm. go directly into work or you can have the option of going into college with some credits transferred in or something to that effect i can't remember the rules like how it's been set up but you'll have a, that extra two years has become mandatory you can't skip it so you know, you will, you know, even though they're starting at now 18 or so, you're still going to have the same problems, man, because they just, their mindset is a little different. And, you know, even grown ass women, when it comes to dealing with foreigners, bro, I know you've experienced it, the giddy shit. And, you know, mm -hmm. it, it can be annoying. It can be cute and endearing sometimes, but sometimes it can be annoying as fuck. Just being real. <laughs> yeah. Like, like me, like my first, like, like I said, you know, why I went to the Philippines, my first, like, Filipina girlfriend, girlfriend, like, <clears throat> I've, date, I've dated girls, like, Filipinas in high school. You know, I've, mm -hmm. I've had the experience with it, but like a, where I said, okay, I'm ready to have a relationship. Because like my dad told me, he goes, when you're in high school, you can't have a relationship. Okay. That, was, that was my dad. You can't date. You can date, but you, you can't have a relationship because I want to make it fair for you and for your sister. If we didn't allow your sister, you ain't allowed to do that either. Okay. But, if, but, he's like, but if you do extracurricular activities, go son, just don't tell your mom I know. So that, <laughs> you know, so there, so there was like rules in that, but. Right. Like this girl, this Filipina that I really that I was like in a real relationship, she just mm -hmm. arrived from the Philippines. She's cool. she's a straight up fob, fresh off the boat. I was like, I was the first one to be like, come hither, you're mine. You know, I was like <laughs> that kind of stuff. <coughs> Gotta love it, All right? But the level of immaturity of expectations of me, you know, me being eighteen, she being nineteen, was just like I, I was like, it, it was weird to me, you know, mm -hmm. for, for that. So. Yeah, it's like uh, what's and and so that's where it kind of gone. But yeah, they, dating Filipinas, young. That, that's that's why like they they don't mature as much as American women or Western women. Mm -hmm. And to an extent, 
I wonder why it is that the older guys literally go that young because that's a tough that it's not a tough hurdle, but it is to an extent, you know, just mm-hmm. what you have to deal with. Uh, I mean, and going back to my literal first experience dating a Filipina, um, it was actually in fairness, though, my first Filipina was older than me. I was 18. She was 23. Right. Okay. And so it was a little bit different. You know, but I handled that situation all wrong. I was not in a mature state myself. So I would say that in that relationship, I was the immature one. But when I did start dating Filipinas around my age, 18, 19, or if I was a little bit older and they were younger, you really had the full-fledged experience of it feels as though it's just, you know, it's like a teaching. Like you got to teach them like they're kids, you know, and it could definitely be a turnoff to some because it could be a, a large hurdle to overcome. So for me, trying to understand why the, you know, your older expats are gung ho over the young ones. I'm like, man, do y'all know what y'all really got to deal with? I mean, you think your money and everything is just going to get you right. But it's like a lot of that young shit is annoying as hell. Even some of them don't necessarily age well. You'll have 25 year olds that would still kind of give you, you know, a headache in reference to how they act and, you know, Filipinas straight up beat your ass, man. You know, when they be laughing and, you know, you tell a joke or something, smack you all hard. It's like, bro, like, don't nobody, don't, don't do that. <laughs> but, you know, and even though it's not meant to be in that type of way, it's like, you know, it could definitely be, you know, a challenge of sorts, right? A lot of guys are saying they don't have that issue. Okay. But your situation, again, it's just not going to be everybody's, especially when you're dealing yeah. with the younger, younger ones. But back to the question, man, in your, in my, in your opinion, let me get this out the way. Why would you think that a 60 year old would go for the 18 year old, given what we know about levels of maturity? So why a if 60 year old man would go for a young girl? Yeah. And we'll say I'm young asking. to level of immaturity extent. <laughs> I think it's, it's catching up to something that they never really experienced or they missed. I mean, because if you look at, people who are in their 60 years of age you know 70 years of age if you mm-hmm. if we take back to the years they never really had their young years to them they were they were at war you know so True. either they went to war either you know it was and then after the war the expectations work. of family yeah. work right away you you did mm-hmm. the um, you did what you're supposed to do so i don't think a lot of them fully experienced in majority so at the very yeah. same time as they never experienced that immaturity of being a child being a you know being a teenager so when they right. when now their their relationship stops now they're like well i need to now catch up for what i missed you know okay. and so i, I think that, that that's what they're looking for but the problem is they don't understand that when they were 18 these girls that they're going after are 18 is two different types of 18 year olds you know and so mm-hmm. uh, because of a lot of things I, i've said this before it's like Listen, yeah, the reason why your relationship with her is good is because technically it's a father-daughter relationship. And it's it's not the understanding oh. of her understanding of love is not real love. So it's a father-daughter relationship, but understand mm-hmm. that if you fi- if she finds her real prince, she will leave you. Mm-hmm. You know, so th- that's just my thing about But like I said, there's always the outliers where it does work. I'm not saying all but it's a majority how about you what what, why do you think that that's how it is uh youth vitality you know like i said you are reliving a moment in time i see for me in my the way that i look at it i equate it to let's say for example a lot of guys in their older years let's say they were married so they're no longer married they're separated they're divorced or whatever and you know, you've heard a lot of guys talking about, yo, man, you know, get your nice little 20 year old. And what place can you get you a 20 year old? The Philippines, all right? Yep. So let's go head over there. Let's go hang out, man. Let's, you know, let's hook up with some 20 year olds. And, and sometimes it literally is a man's preference is based purely on age, right? Not looks, not personality, not attitude. She's 20. I need me a 20 year old. 
So mm-hmm. I kind of feel like it is more or less reliving or catching up in your, like you said, it is definitely making up for lost time of sorts. If you were married to the same woman 20, 25 years, you're not going to want to date somebody who is your age, right? You're going to want to date something different. You're going to want to date something young. You've been there. You've done that. So, you know, you're going to naturally want something that is going to help you bring back a side of you that you may be missing out on. And hopefully you'll, they're probably thinking that they'll find that with the younger Filipina as opposed to the older ones, which, hey, man, I'm telling you right now, man, 35-year-old, man, that's right in my area. That's my that's my age range right there, bro. 30, 35, them bitches go hard, bro. Big facts. Like, yeah. they don't play. They, I, <laughs> they they gonna please you, bro. I'm saying, that's me, personally. I, I, 25, listen. 28? Cool, man. But 30, 35, man. They do. They do a little different. <laughs> you, do, you don't have to preach to me. You, you, you really don't have to preach to me at all. Uh, because... I, I feel like here's my thing. Like I do enjoy. Mm-hmm. Like I have a I have a cutoff. Twenty five is is the youngest I'll go. I I I do okay. have my own cutoff. And for the guys that go or who are older, sixty and up, dating, I'm not gonna hate on you. Do what you need to do. Enjoy exactly. yourself. Whatever your reason is, <laughs> you had every right to do what you needed to do. Like for mm-hmm. me, I I have my twenty five year old cutoff. Not to say that I don't break my own rules. Everybody because sometimes the rules, there's that twenty three, <laughs> twenty four year old in the bar that you're like, all right, but. Um, <laughs> I've had some of the best times going for girls who are 35 and up. And if you want like a really fun, good time, I go for those mm-hmm. girls. And and I know a lot of them who don't have kids. They have their own business. Mm-hmm. Their family mm-hmm. is of decent um, background and they, ha- you know, whatever. And those are, those girls are fun because they don't have, they don't have anything going on in their life. They live by themselves they don't have a family, so they get. They've been keeping all their money since they started working when they're twenty one. They got right. cash. These girls. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Success rate is a lot higher, and they don't yes. know that. Your success rate is a lot higher dealing in that age range. Yes. I mean, dude, like you could damn near about a thousand in this bitch <laughs> within that range because honestly, bro, I just don't think that a lot of them are like being hit on as much by with by foreigners. I mean let alone guys at all, man. Everybody thinks, oh, you're over the hump, man. You've hit the wall. 30, 35. Ugh, I don't know who wants that, right? Ew, it's like taboo and shit. I'm like, bro, like, do you not know what's going on here? If you really... See, I think there's a failure to analyze. You hear 35, you're completely turned off. Period. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a failure to analyze and to at least get to know the situations because I've seen some very attractive 35-year-olds, right? 30, 35-year-olds. Right? A lot. It's not as good. Right. And the problem is most foreigners failure to analyze like yo okay she's 30 35 why it's not so much why doesn't she have kids but it's more or less like she's career oriented you you mm-hmm. start if you weigh your pros and cons you'll realize them 35 year olds and i hate to say this ladies if you listen to this don't take it disrespectfully but they're somewhat not necessarily desperate but it kind of comes off they give that vibe because they put their life on hold for so long. It's like, yo, I want to live now. I've done what I need to do, especially the ones that are career oriented. Some of them are cool with living. And if you're not looking for a relationship, some of them are okay with, you know, casually getting together. It doesn't have to be a full fledged commitment to some, a lot of them are married to the job. Some of them just Mm -hmm. need some, some of them just need some vitamin D, bro. That's the best way to put it. And I, look, you can damn near find whatever situation you want, but nobody wants to hear that part. So, and I don't, I don't, I don't care if the guys don't want to hear that part. I'm glad you guys, the, 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 there's dudes that don't want to hear that part. Because if you're exactly. just having fun, enjoying yourself, and but see, I'm gonna have to first of all distinguish two things because some of these dudes like to hang on the province. A 40 year old in the province is gonna look old and haggard. A forty-year-old yeah. living in a city with a decent job, she's well taken care of. If she, does, you know, we'll just say, okay, fine. Let's be fair. Thirty-two to forty. We'll just say thirty-two to forty girls, because that's uh, um, most of the guys will cut off before thirty-two, anyways. Those girls, true. if they don't have a family, they're, they're not a single mother. They have a mm-hmm. decent career. Mm-hmm. They've been living by themselves. These girls take care of their take care of themselves because they're still trying to compete with the young girls, so they work harder at it. They, they, and these, and a lot of guys don't understand this. You know, like, can you the, imagine, bro, going to the Philippines and how already having a place to stay <laughs> without having to Airbnb in a hotel because she's probably got her own shit? 